A caravan of Central Americans traveling through Mexico have briefly halted their journey. They are about a thousand miles from the U.S. border. Correspondent Adriana Diaz is with them and reports now from southern Mexico. Migrants are resting in the town of Huixla in southern Mexico, and they're paying their respects to a fellow traveler who died when he fell from a vehicle Monday. It's also a chance to gather strength after days of grueling travel in sweltering heat. Señora, ¿de dónde eres? This woman from Honduras is making the journey with her family, which includes four young children. She told us Mexicans have been very generous along the way and that she hopes God will help her family enter the U.S. Thousands of migrants crossed into Mexico from Guatemala Sunday. Each day over the past two days, they've been walking about 25 miles. And if you think about that, that's about the same distance as a marathon. So these people are walking a marathon's distance every day, and they'll have to keep it up for more than a month. They are determined to reach the U.S. border crossing at Tijuana, but President Trump says they won't be allowed in. The president claims the caravan includes MS-13 gang members and Middle Eastern terrorists, although he's offered no evidence. Every person we've encountered comes from Honduras. Many of them told us they just want to reach the U.S. to find work. Adriana Diaz for CBS3 Eyewitness News.